I wonder if my father remembers my name. And if my mom regrets naming me Khalid, you know, I was named after the famous warrior Khalid bin Walid. It is said that he has never lost a single battle. I wonder if when he fought, his sword used to chip. And if it did, I wonder if his sword believes he's still a perfect warrior. I'm starting to forget how to speak my native tongue. It twists and turns within my body, and when I produce a sentence, it comes out as an amalgamation. My tongue cuts my culture like a dagger, and I am there to stare at its muddied pieces. I wonder if my grandfather is turning in his grave, and if my ancestors dare to call me their future. I wonder what it feels like to touch my nation's soil. I know nothing of my people. I romanticize about American culture and forget about my own, the land of fighters, the land of poets. I yearned for a connection, so I grabbed at something. Remember, I'm not like Khalid bin Walid. I'm not a warrior. I'm more like the sword that chipped. I wonder why my mom named me Khalid. I want her to take it back. I don't want to be born in Fairview anymore. I want her to take it back. Please, just take it back. I want to be given my people. I wonder if I could tell you my nation's name without my dagger breaking. If I could sing my national anthem without getting a bunch of cuts in my mouth now. I know that my father does not remember my name for he has no reason to. His son is not a warrior. His son wishes to be more like a broken blade. I'm not a soldier. I'm too scared to fight for my forgotten people, but I'd gladly die for them. I wonder if it's warm back home. I heard that my people know the sun on a first name basis. I wonder if I could tell you I'm Somali and say it with pride. Wa haraba and tado Somali I had. I just can't echo current hair, love day, deep day, what in the hair, I need done Somali I had. Hi, Kadanin, I'm begging you. Please don't take it away from me. I wonder if I could tell you I'm Somali. Wa haraba and tado Somali I had. I wonder if I could, I wonder. If I could tell you that I am a sword. I wonder if I could tell you that I'm Somali. Somali Thank you for sharing your piece. And the more I listen to y'all, the more I understand why you guys are called Brave New Voices. Um, for those of us who would like some clarification, what was your piece about? Um, I think it was mostly centered about me and the loss I feel with my own Somali culture. Because mm. I was trying to speak with my mom in our native language and um, just sounded like a bunch of gibberish mixed in with like clear ass English. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know, this piece was kind of dedicated to maybe losing one's culture, but not necessarily the want to lose it mm. and like the right to go and find it, even if it is lost, because it's not oh, like there is a Somalia. There is a community here. There is people who know it and there is people who help you reconnect with your culture and who you're supposed to be. Mm. And I think that was like the center piece of this. Of all the poetry I've heard, and maybe I need to widen my Verizon, uh, or, or uh, my Horizon, probably Verizon too, okay, that fits. <laughs> um, I've never heard anybody speak in a different language in their poem and, and use that in such a way. Why did you choose to do that? Um, I feel like there's no Somali representation mm. in this country and in our own. We're going through a lot of economic like political, social, just like the more we stay in America, the more we start blending in with American culture and forgetting our own. Mm. And I feel like the center and like like the strongest piece of a culture I think is language. Mm. And um, I felt like the clearest way to convey that was through using my own. I have one last question, if you don't. Do you intend on doing that more in your poetry? I enjoyed that personally. It pulled me in. Um, do you intend to do that, or was this just for this, for just for us, for the current? Was it just for Las Vegas, or are you going to do this more with your work in the future? I think it's something 
first I want to get better at speaking my own language. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, it's something I just started doing and it's something I don't intend to stop doing anytime soon. It, it, I, I just have to echo Sonny's sentiment. It had an incredible impact. Your whole poem had an incredible impact. But that moment when you broke uh, out of English, it was just, it, mm-hmm. it, it gave me goosebumps. It was, yeah. it was incredible. It pulls you in. <laughs> Good job. Uh, We are so honored uh, that you are here today. Kyle, thank you for being here.